Good evening, groovy citizens, and happy winning Wednesday. I don't know about you all, but today has been a great day. It's been a great day, you guys. It's 84 degrees, so it was it was really nice out today. Now, I won't lie, it started out quite chilly this morning. I actually had to grab my jacket because it was a little on the chilly side, the chillier than chilly side, if you will. And so I had to put my jacket on this morning, but today turned out to be pretty great. You know, the sun is out. It's not overly hot. Like I said, it is 84 degrees. I wouldn't sit here and tell you I was going to cut the air AC on because I'm not. And I haven't today. But all in all, it's been a great day. So I hope you all have had a great day as well. And the reason I'm smiling like this is because it was something I was going to share with you all, but I forgot to write it down. So I can't remember exactly what it was. But you know what, y'all? I'm trying to tell you, life is good life is good do you hear what i'm saying if you if you stop right now and just think about your life even if you have some issues that you're dealing with doesn't matter life is still good okay keep telling yourself that and if you don't believe it eventually you will let's jump into today's video because I have one quick errand that I have to get this video done, uploaded while it's uploading. I have one quick errand to run and then I need to get back because it's seven o'clock. I have a meeting, but also have a class and I think I'm gonna join my class. So yeah, I've made up my mind. I think I'm gonna join my class. Anywho, and then the rest of my evening is just gonna be chill and relax until I get sleepy and fall asleep. And yes, I am still watching my Christmas movies. Don't judge me because I don't judge you. Now, before I go into my topic, y'all, remember the other day I was telling y'all about these kids that were throwing this football? Yeah, they were throwing it today and the little tall skinny guy, he I guess he called himself trying to clown, talking about, oh, let's be careful so we don't hit our car. Yeah, don't, don't hit my stuff because I'm telling you, I'm not the one. Don't play with me because I'm not the one. I am not the one, I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me just say that. I am so not the one. Go play with your mama. Don't play with me. And don't don't tear up my stuff that I had to work hard and to pay had to work hard to pay for and am still paying for. Don't tear my stuff up. Go tear your mama's stuff up. Anyway, today's topic is how to raise your self-esteem. You guys, I feel like there's something in my eye. That was it. That was it. You guys hold your horses. That was it. I got a text message earlier saying that my new glasses are ready. So I'm excited. I unfortunately did not get a chance to get over and pick them up today, but I will do that on tomorrow because my mom had physical therapy earlier today. So I just, it was too much of my time already gone doing that. So tomorrow morning, I will go over and, or lunchtime, I'll go pick my new glasses up. So I'm super excited. That means that on Friday, y'all will see the new glasses, okay? Now, today's topic, well, I said how to raise your self-esteem. So we all have times when we lack confidence and don't feel good about ourselves. However, when low self-esteem becomes long term becomes a long-term problem, it can have a very harmful effect on your mental health and affect your day-to-day -day life. So what is self-esteem? Well, it's the opinion we have of ourselves. Healthy self-esteem makes us feel positive about ourselves. Unhealthy self-esteem lets us see life in a more negative life. So your self-esteem is essentially your opinion of yourself. What is your opinion of yourself? I don't know about you, but my opinion of myself, I'm not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but I love me. I love me. I love my life. I love the people that God has placed into my life, both those who are there, who, who have been there for a season, a reason, a lifetime, those who were put there to, to, to show me something, to teach me something. I appreciate them as well because see, without them, my eyes probably wouldn't have been open, right? So I don't know about you all, but my opinion of me is it's a good one always has been and i've always been able to say to myself you know what i'm not perfect but i do have room to grow i'm not perfect but there, there's room to grow 
See, the, you, you run into a problem when you get to a place in life where you think you're just perfect and you, you can't learn anything else. You don't need to know anything else because you know it all. Mm -mm. That's where you get stuck. And that's, that's a place I don't ever want to be. I don't know it all. I don't claim to know it all. I am perfect for where I am right now in this point in time in my life. But there's still plenty room to grow. Always remember that. So what causes low self-esteem? Well, it begins in our childhood from our friends, our teachers, family, and the things that we saw on television. So when I said that, I, what I'm saying is sometimes people grow into adults with low self-esteem issues because of things that happened to them when they were, when they were kids. Maybe you had friends in your neighborhood, friends at your school, family members that were always putting you down, telling you that you weren't good enough, that you were never going to be anything. And, and, and that sticks with you. And for some people, it really did. Now, some people, it, it let them say, okay, you know what? This person said that I couldn't do something, but I'm going to show them that I can do, do that and then some. Others listened to what those people said and they started to believe it. And so they just never did anything with their lives because they were always told that they would never amount to anything, that they would never be anything, no matter how hard they tried. And I'm so, so sorry if that was your story growing up, but I am here to tell you that as an adult, you need to let that go. Let it go and 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 tell yourself that you can do anything that you put your mind to. You know, I love it when I hear Steve Harvey tell the story of family members who told him he was making a big mistake leaving the General Motors plant to go do comedy. They were like, "Comedy? What what? You you're never going to to go anywhere with that." You know, they had a family history of folks working at the plant. That's what they did. They worked there till they retired and then they went on off and enjoyed the rest of their lives. And so they were like, why would you want anything different? Well, guess what? Steve said, okay, I see myself doing more than just that. He let the plant go and look at him now. The man is making money hand over fist. He is living the life that he saw for himself. His family members and probably some of his friends and, and or co-workers, they didn't see it for him, but he saw it from, for himself and he did not allow their negativity or their short-sightedness keep him from achieving something that he knew he was capable of doing. Mm, that's powerful, y'all. And so some people have dealt with the message that they weren't good enough all their lives. Maybe you weren't able to live up to other people's high standards and expectations or your own expectations. Stress and tough life events can also bring on negative and low self-esteem. So here's some ways you can improve low self-esteem. I have six things that I'm going to share with you a takeaway, and then I'll let you be. Number one, I said, recognize what you're good at. So we are all good at something. So pick the thing or things that you are good at and do them to help boost your mood and your self-esteem. If you know, I know I'm not really good at cooking, so I don't make a habit of doing it. Now, I do it for my, my cooking videos, and that's, that's fine and good, but I don't do it on a regular basis, no. Now, when I feel like I want some scrambled eggs, I will go and scramble me some eggs or make me some bacon, but otherwise, I don't do any real cooking. And you understand what I'm saying? Because I know I'm not good at that, and I'm not trying to be good at that. I tell you, I give you my disclaimer when I start my videos. I can't cook, I don't cook, and I'm not interested in learning. So... I have no desire to to keep at it, to, to get better at it, because that's just not where I'm trying to go in life. You understand what I'm saying? I stick to what I'm good at. And Lord knows I'm good at many things, so I stick to those things. Number two, build positive relationships. So try to build relationships with people who are positive and who appreciate you the way you are. 
See, there are some people in this life that I've come to to understand that they like you for the person that you can become. Others like you for who you are right now. Sorry, I'm cracking my window a little bit. So you want to surround yourself with people who care about you, who love you, and accept you exactly the way you are as you work on becoming the person that you want to be. But they need to have a positive attitude. You Have you ever been around, I know you have, but have you ever been around somebody who's just negative all the time? Like you don't, can't ever recall hearing them say one positive thing because they're always negative. I mean, always. Those are the people that you don't want to be around, nor do you need to be around because you become a product of that which you surround yourself with. And I've shared that with you all before. So make sure the people that you choose to hang around, they're positive people. They want something out of life. They're, they're not content with just sitting around and just accepting life as it falls in their lap. No, they, they want more out of life than what they have. And they work hard to have more, to do more, to, to be better. And, and instead of, you know, and I'm not saying, because again, we're, what we're not doing is we're not judging anyone. We are not judging anyone. But I, when I say you want to keep those positive thinking people around you because they're the ones that are going to, to help encourage you to get to your next level. You start hanging around people that don't want anything out of life, that are just negative about everything. What do you think is going to happen to you? You're going to be just like those people eventually. Exactly. So that's why I said make sure you are hanging out with people who are positive and who appreciate you the way you are right now as you work towards becoming a better person. Number three, be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself when you feel like being self-critical. Oftentimes, we give better advice to others than we do ourselves. And that is so true. And I've actually seen people do this. And it's like, mm, this is the same person that always has good advice for other people. This is the same person that always encourages other people. This is the same person that always speaks life into other people. But I see the way they tear themselves down. And that concerns me. That, that that concerns me. Now, I'll be honest with you. I'm that person. I raise my hand that I, I don't mind saying, you know what, come here for a minute. Can we talk for a second? And I'll just point it out. You know, I noticed that you speak life into others, but you speak damnation into yourself. You encourage others, but you tear yourself down. Okay, you tried ABC, XYZ, and it didn't quite work out. Okay, it's not the end of the world. At least you tried, you tried. And if it didn't work out, you go back to the drawing board and you try it again. Or you take the parts of whatever it was you did that work and you say, okay, now I need to figure out how can I build on those things. The stuff that didn't work, you need to go back and see if you can fix it so that it, that it does work. Or if it's just not gonna work at all, then you just you know wipe it off the table and focus on the other stuff. But what you don't do is sit and tear yourself down. And we've been doing that for far too long. So effective today, we're going to stop doing that. If something that you do doesn't work out, don't sit there and say, oh, you are so stupid. No, you're not. No, you are not. You may have done something that was stupid, but you are not stupid. Don't, don't sit there and, and say to yourself, oh, you are just so useless. You're so ineffective. No, you're not. You tried, it didn't work out. Go back to the drawing board and try it again. Try those things again. Just maybe take a different turn. Or maybe none of those things work and you need to go back to the drawing board to come up with something else. But, but, but do not, do not sit and talk down to yourself, regardless of what you say or what you do. Because guess what? Everybody makes mistakes. That doesn't make you a bad person. Number four, learn to be assertive. Being assertive is about respecting other people's opinions and needs and expecting the same from them. 
So I'm sorry, being assertive is about yeah, respecting other people's opinions and needs and expecting the same from them. You can try looking at people who act assertively and copy what they do. It's not about pretending you're someone you, you aren't. It's taking tips from other people and allowing the real you to come out. <clears throat> you know, sometimes some might say, well, Michelle, but if I go and do what Susie's doing, then I'm just copying what she's doing. I'm not being real and authentic. Yes, you are. Because you have it down in you. You just don't know how to bring it out like Susie does. All I'm saying is I'm not saying go and do exactly what she does. I'm saying look at what Susie does. Look at how she's able to open up and to flourish. You have the ability to do that, but sometimes you need to see somebody else doing it in order to do it. It's just like with learning. You learn to drive because somebody taught you how to drive. You watched your parents drive or whoever raised you. And then you got a chance to get behind the wheel, hands at 10 and two, y'all remember that. And you learn to drive, right? But you learn to drive by watching somebody else. Some of y'all drive the way you drive because somebody you know used to drive that way. And that's a whole nother video for a whole nother time. But I digress. But but what I'm saying is, so don't ever think that you're copying someone because you're not. All you're doing is allowing what's already inside of you to, to come out and to flourish and to let that part of you be what people see when they look at you, okay? Number five, learn to say no. People with low self-esteem feel they have to say yes to things even when they don't wanna do it. Saying yes to everything will eventually lead to you becoming overburdened, resentful, angry, and depressed. That is, you know, that that is a sad reality. It's all right to say no. I used to be, and it wasn't because I had low self-esteem. Let me be clear about that. But I used to feel, especially in the church, I used to feel like I always had to say yes to stuff that I really didn't want to do because number one, I knew it needed to be done. And I would say to myself, all right, Michelle, if nobody else is raising their hand, just go ahead and raise your hand so we can move on. Get it done and move on to something else. But then sometimes I would find myself doing things that I knew I didn't want to do. I only did it because nobody else volunteered. And so I've gotten to a place now where I'm all right with saying no thank you. If there's a committee forming, hey, we got this committee, can we count on you? Uh, no, no, you cannot <laughs> because I'm busy. I have enough stuff going on right now that I don't need to take on anything else. There was a time that I would say, sure, I'll be on the committee, knowing full well I didn't want to. But again, the work needed to be done and somebody had to do it. But it's all right to say no. If your heart is not in whatever that thing is that somebody's asking you to do, simply say no. You know what? I am so sorry. I really wish I could, but you know, I'm just, my mind, my heart, it's just not in it. It really is not in it. But I wish you all the best. I'll be praying for you. Or you could just say, look, I, gotta, I have a lot going on right now, so I really can't take on anything else. However you choose to word it, doesn't matter as long as you say no. And then stick to that because people will come back with, the, oh, please, come on, because we really need you. And look, I would love to, but I can't. Excuse me. I really, really can't. Okay. Number six, give yourself a challenge. Set a goal for yourself and then go after it. Achieving your goal or your goals will help you increase your self-esteem. I don't know about you, but whenever you achieve a goal, it doesn't matter how small it is or how big it is, but whenever you achieve a goal, it takes your self-esteem through the roof. And I know that just from personal experience because I've experienced it many times myself. So that's why I'm encouraging you all to set a challenge for yourself. You can say that between now, excuse me, y'all, between now and the end of the year, you want to rearrange your room or rearrange your home or clean out your home or clean out your car or clean out your storage unit, whatever it is that you want to do. Set a challenge for yourself 
And when you achieve that goal, I promise you, you're going to feel like you are about 20 feet tall. Won't nobody be able to tell you nothing. You won't even be able to stop grinning. That's how excited and happy you're going to be. So set challenges for yourself. And they don't have to be big things. It can be small things. It could be this month I want to lose six pounds. Now to some that may not seem like a lot, but to you it could mean everything. And so set a challenge for yourself to get that six pounds off because it's going to make you exercise. It's going to make you eat better. Uh, write down what you're eating, being mindful of what you're putting in your mouth because you have a goal that you're trying to achieve. So I'm just encouraging you. Sorry, y'all. My neighbors just got home, so I'm trying to roll my window up. It's going to encourage you to, to, to think higher. And some of you, I'm going to say this and then I'll move on, but some of you... Think small because you are afraid and you say to yourself, mm, what if I say I want to do this and then I don't accomplish it? Mm -mm, don't think of that. Don't, don't think of it that way. Write down that goal. Create the steps that you need to take to get to it and start checking them off one at a time and just keep going until you reach the, the ultimate goal. You can do it, guys. I know you can. I know you can. I believe you can. I feel it in my heart. And I know that if you really work hard and you really stay focused on what you're doing, you can achieve the goals that you set for yourself. So here's your takeaway. Regardless of when your self-esteem issues kicked in, now is the time for you to develop into a new person and find new ways of seeing yourself no matter what age you are right now. So that's for those individuals that maybe you've been dealing with self-esteem issues ever since you were a little kid and you just have had a hard time trying to process it. Doesn't matter. Now is the time for you to put aside those issues and to, to start living your best life, to decide, you know what, you're going to stop sitting in the back of the room watching everybody else do their thing watching life pass you by and and start getting into the race yourself start wanting more for yourself start doing more for yourself and not just other people because that's another thing that people with low self-esteem they tend to do more for others than they do for themselves but i want you to start doing more for yourself because you deserve it you deserve it. You have given so much of yourself to so many people that now is your time. In this year on a high note, in this year by achieving some goals that you've been putting off for a long time, for whatever reason, it doesn't even really matter. But in this year by achieving those goals, set them first and then achieve them because I know you can. So listen, you guys, if you are new to watching my videos, first of all, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for giving just a little bit of your time to speak life into you, to encourage you, to help you raise your self-esteem. And, and, and if you've tried everything, you say, well, Michelle, I've tried everything that you've talked about. I have. And I still haven't been able to raise my self-esteem reach out to me let's talk let's see what we can come up with to get you on the right path because i want nothing but the best for you but in order for me to help you achieve the best that that, that, that that's out there for you anyway we have to work together so reach out to me and let's see what we can come up with to help you get on the path to raising your self-esteem because you are missing out on so many things and I don't want life to keep passing you by, okay? Now, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I wanna say welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. And something else I was getting ready to say and I lost my train of thought. Mm, that's interesting. That's what happens when you have too many things going on in your mind. <laughs> so, let me start all over again. This is your first time watching one of my videos. I want to say welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. I do car conversations every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Make sure you come back on Friday for another motivational topic. If you have not already done so, you guys, please hit that subscribe button. Tap that bell so you don't miss any new videos that I put out, especially since the holidays are coming up. But also, 
give this video a thumbs up because it helps with the algorithm and it helps to make sure that my video gets out to more people. Thank you so much. And see, that didn't cost you anything but just a few seconds of your time. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Bible says you have not because you ask not. Well, I'm asking and I'm thanking you in advance. If this is not your first rodeo, I want to say welcome back. Thank you so much. Y'all know I miss you when I don't get a chance to see you. Go out there, enjoy the rest of your winning Wednesday. Whatever you do, no matter where you go, just do so safely. Have fun, but be safe at the same time. Listen, y'all know the drill. You know the spiel. I love you to the moon and back, and there's nothing. And I mean absolutely nothing that you can do to ever change that because I love you, and I want nothing but the best for you. If you've been suffering from low self-esteem, now is the time for you to break out of that shell. Become the person that God has intended for you to be. And go out there and truly enjoy your life. Stop living your life for other people. Too many of you have been doing that, and now it's time to start living for you. I'm not saying being selfish and self-centered, but I am saying it's time to start living your life for you, okay? And I believe you can do that. I really do. Love you all, and we'll talk again on Friday.